Now to election day and the critical race for governor of Virginia. The former president and current president looming large over the battle. Stephanie Ramos is at a polling station in Virginia with what it all could mean for the country in 2022. Good morning, Stephanie. Robin, good morning. This race is getting so much national attention as a sort of progress report on President Biden's administration so far, but also for what it could mean for Democrats and Republicans in midterm elections next year. This morning, decision day in Virginia's tight governor's race. Let's bring this baby home. Are you ready to win tomorrow? All eyes are on Virginia. Democratic candidate Terry McAuliffe and Republican Glenn Youngkin statistically tied. The race's outcome seen as a referendum on the future of both parties and will serve as a blueprint for elections around the country. Overnight, the candidates made a final appeal to voters. On day one, we're going to launch a government-wide audit of every department, rooting out fraud, rooting out waste, raising transparency. Youngkin reinforcing talking points popular with Republicans nationwide, focusing on education. We will not have political agendas in the classroom, and I will ban critical race theory. McAuliffe seizing on Republican challenges to reproductive rights. I will and was a brick wall to protect your reproductive rights. And of course, Donald Trump looming over the race in a state that Biden won by 10 percentage points just one year ago. McAuliffe hoping to drive home the argument that a vote for Youngkin is a vote for former President Donald Trump. This race, is it about stopping former President Trump? Glenn Youngkin says he's honored, honored to get the endorsement of Donald Trump. We don't want Trump anymore here. Country doesn't need him. Youngkin has accepted Trump's support and endorsement. Trump holding a virtual rally for him overnight. But Youngkin still keeping Trump at arm's length, not appearing with the former president during the campaign and never mentioning his name during his speeches. This is a big moment for both parties. Polling stations, they are already open, including the one behind me here in Loudoun County. They close at 7 o'clock Eastern tonight, and as long as you're in line by 7, you will be able to vote. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.